Um, I'm, I'm praise the Lord, everyone. Um, I'm just sitting here. Thought I'd come back and just a quick word on the domestic violence. You know, because so many are going through it, and so many have gone through it. But um, if you're still there in that situation, um, it's time to get out. It really is. No one have any right to um, call you out of your name, um, just hurt you physical, physically, mentally, emotionally. They have no right to do that and, and putting their hands on you, using you as their punching bag. You're no one's punching bag. You're no one's punching bag. You have to get out of there because you think it's going to get better. They'll promise you. They'll say they're sorry and that's going to get better, that they won't do it again. But they will. They will. And each time it gets worse and worse and worse. It may start with a, with a, just like a shove, a push. And you may not say that's domestic violence, that's being abused. Yes, that's abusive. He's abusing you. And he's calling you the B word or whore or whatever. He's abusing you. Ladies, ladies, ladies. You should not be called out of your name like that. You should not be. That's not your name. That's not what it says on your birth certificate. It doesn't say that. And, oh my God, then, then um, punching you, hitting on you, kicking you, spitting on you, slapping you. Like you're some kind of, kind of animal. No one should even treat an animal the way um, people have these men treat women. Because I'm going to say the way I have been treated. Worse than you treat an animal. My God, you got to get out. It's, that's the mess of violence. He's being abusive. Even when they um, want to wanna have sex. It can be your husband. I don't care who it is. And um, you, you say no. That's abuse when he forces you. When he forces you and takes it. He's, that's rape. That's what that is. Oh my God. And don't try to make any uh, excuses for him. There's no excuse for anyone beating on anybody like that. And I'm not, not going to just say him. Whatever kind of relationship you're in. You know. Because women beat women too. And some women beat men too. So, But it's all domestic violence. It's abuse. Please, please, I beg of you, get out. I haven't been on here for a while discussing this. But it's time to get out. That's why I didn't do it live because I want to put it on YouTube also. It's time to get out. Get out, get out. Save yourselves. Save the children. Save them. Do you want your daughter to think it's right for a man putting his hand on her? Because that's what she's going to think. She watching her dad do it to you. That's what she's going to think that it's okay. But no, it is not okay. And men, that's what you want your sons to grow up doing? Beating on, beating on um, their wife, their girlfriends? It's not right. It's not right. You may have gotten away with it. But the next one who does it may end up in jail. Your son, he tried, he may end up in jail or, or killed. Because cause people are getting tired. Women are getting tired. Because I know right now I, I couldn't do it. I could not let a man put his hands on me in that matter. I went through it too much. And, and right now even though I'm saved and delivered, I still don't know what would happen if a man was to put his hand on me right now. So please, 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 I beg of you, get out. Get out of that situation. You have Jesus. He's there. He's there for you. He will help you. He will put the right people in your path. He will. He will. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. He will. He will help you. And don't, don't just stay there because he's taking care of you. He's supporting you. It's not worth it. When he's, when he's breaking you up. When he's hurting you in, on the inside and on the outside. 
How can you walk around, look like that? You know, don't even look like yourself. And your children or somebody got to look at you like that. No, uh-uh, mm-mm. It's time to get out. Get out, get out, get out. And when you do, yes, have, have them arrested. Because that's what a lot of us fail to do, because I know I had failed to do it before. Have them arrested. Take a warrant out for him. Let him spend that time in jail. So he has time to think about what he's done. And maybe he will try to get some help for himself. Not to be with you, because you don't need him. But he needs that help for himself. Or whoever. Or she needs that help for herself. Whoever doing, doing the abuse. Please, please, please. Because right now it's a lot of teenagers beating up on one another. You know? And that may, may end up in death. You know? You may get that call. Somebody done killed your daughter. Or your son. All because of domestic violence. Please, please get out. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. That person is not worth it. Because they love you. They love you. They love you. They wouldn't be trying to disfigure your face. They wouldn't call you out of your names like that. That's not love. Don't think that's love when he does those things. It's not love. He's sick. He has a problem. He has issues. He has very low self-esteem of himself. That's why he do you like that. And they do you like that, whoever it is. Please, please, I beg of you to get out of that situation. I don't know what brought me on here tonight to do this, but it did just all of a sudden to do the domestic violence thing again. So please get out. Get out. Save yourself. Save your children. Trust in the Lord. Call on Jesus. He is your rock. He's there. He will hold you up. He will keep you. He is your protector. He is your provider. So don't worry about, I'm not going to have this. I'm not going to have that if I'm not with that person. God is your provider, not that person, not that person. Get out, save yourself, save your children, save your soul. Save your soul, could make it to the point you're going to get tired. You may end up killing that person. You may end up killing them. A lot of times, you, you know, they don't want to look at it as self-defense and you're going to jail just because you don't report it. But you have to report it every time when they put their hands on you. That's what I have failed to do. You need to report it every time. Please get out. Get out of that situation. Get out right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You get out right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is your rock. He, he is there for you. He is your savior. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let him deliver you from all of that mess. You need to get out of there. Get out of there now. Not worth it. Whoever it is. Whoever being abused, get out of it right now, right now, right now. Yes, and they will talk that game to you. They will plead to you, don't go. Or else they will threaten you not to go. Just go. Go anyway. Go when they're not there. Take your time. Get things together if you have to. Then you leave. You leave. They have places for you. There are places out here. There's a 1-800 number for domestic violence. You can easily find it. Please, please, I beg of you, get out, get out now, get out now, get out now, get out now, save yourself, save your children, save your soul, save your soul, because you don't want to end up, have to kill somebody, and then you're going straight to hell for it, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, it's not worth it, it's not worth it at all, it's not worth it, oh no, How? Mm, Jesus, help us, Lord, help us, Lord, help us, Lord. I pray for you tonight. I pray. I pray the, pray the Lord will um, lead and guide you to get out. To get out. To get out of that situation. Move now. Move now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Move now. Move now. Because you're waiting along. It may be too late. It may be too late. He may end up killing you. Or your children. It can happen. It can happen. 
Please, 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 I beg, I beg, I beg of you right now. Please move. Move, 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 move right now. Get out of that situation. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Please, please, please get out. Please get out. It's not worth it. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sending me to do this. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, get out and know that I love you. That's why I'm on here. I love you. But most of all, Jesus, he loves you. He loves you so much. No matter what anybody else tried to tell you, you have Jesus who loves you. And there are so many other people who loves you, who loves you, wants the wants best for you. You don't need to be going through that, that kind of thing. No, uh-uh, get out, get out, get out, get out. I bet I've been out of it so long right now. And I'm just so grateful and so thankful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why I say if anybody was to put their hands on me now, I don't know what would happen. But I pray, I, I pray I will just go and just have them arrested. That's what I pray, and I'm sure that's what I will do. Because they're not worth it. They're not worth you going to any jail for them. They're not worth it at all. Mm-mm. No, they need to be in the jail. They need to be behind bars. Not you. Not you. So get out. Do the right thing and get out. God bless you and God be with you.